Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Alicia and I post lifestyle and vlog content and today I'm going to be giving you guys a day in the life video and actually this morning Garrett and I are going to head out and go strawberry picking. It's officially strawberry picking season and I'm just really really excited to go out. It's actually the first day that they're open so I'm really excited to get some good strawberries and we're going to probably head to Target right before because they might have this patio rug that I've been looking for forever. So I'm really excited to hopefully pick up that real quick on our way out. And later today, I'm gonna be giving you guys like my summer 2021 bucket list. And of course, like I'll share that with you all and I'll make a little checklist for you guys. And I'll probably share that on my Instagram. So you should go follow me there at Alicia J Henderson. And then also I'm probably gonna do a little gardening like I pretty much always do. And then later tonight, I'm gonna make a really yummy meal for dinner and meal prep for the upcoming week because today's Sunday. And I'm just excited to spend the day with you guys. A quick little outfit check for you guys. This dress is from Love Olive Co. And I'm obsessed with it. And it has pockets. And then my sandals are from Target. And I got these little earrings from Old Navy. Now it's time to go to Target and then strawberry picking. Guys, look what I found at Target. <laughs> I don't know if this actually looks good or not, but I thought it kind of like went with the vibe of strawberry picking and everything. And I don't know, it's like the perfect like beach hat too, but I think it's kind of cute with this outfit. I wish you guys could tell me like right now, but Target did have the rug that we were looking for, but I'm gonna wait to show you guys because I think I'm gonna do like a balcony makeover because we also have like a patio set coming and we're gonna fix up our garden a little bit out on our balcony so I'm gonna wait to show you guys that so be on the lookout for that video but we also got some Starbucks there's two different people in this world there's people with the fruity drinks and the espresso I'm an espresso girl Garrett likes the fruity drinks <laughs> He's like, really, Alicia? <laughs> but I like it's true. feeling refreshed. It is a really refreshing drink. And it's like 93 degrees today. That's why we're trying to head to strawberry picking early. And kind of why I got the hat, too, because I think it's kind of cute. But now we're off to go strawberry picking, and it is just like the cutest little place. It's um, Tugas Farms in Massachusetts, and they have like kind of like a petting zoo as well and a playground for kids and then they have a store where you can get a bunch of food and, and they have like picnic tables and everything it's just like a really cute place to go a really cute date but I'm really excited and I gotta figure out what I want to make with the strawberries because we're about to get a lot of strawberries and I'm not sure what I want to make right now so we shall see <laughs> Now we're just grabbing some lunch. I got a hand sandwich. We got a strawberry slushie and Garrett got a grilled cheese. We also picked up some fudge and some jam at the store as well. But yep, we're gonna enjoy a little bit of lunch here. Alright, we just had so much fun here at Tugas Farms and now we're actually going to go and get some ice cream because it's really really hot and ice cream just sounds so perfect today. And then we're going to head home and I'll work on the bucket list and a little bit of gardening. Alright, we stopped and got some ice cream. I just got a small cake batter and Garrett got banana ice cream. <laughs> Alright, we just got home and I'm currently laying down with Archie. He like definitely wants lots of attention obviously right when we get home and so I'm just giving him some love, giving him attention. <laughs> He's very dramatic when he doesn't get enough attention. Aren't you buddy? 
But yes, and then I'm going to, I actually got to order some groceries for the week, um, which I do that through Instacart. And I think we might try to shop at Aldi's. I have never been there, um, but one of my friends, she was like, it's so much cheaper and everything. So we might try that out. And then I'm excited to start writing the summer bucket list. I've started to like brainstorm a little bit, but I want to sit down and do that. I just love having a list of things to do already. I'm like definitely a list person to begin with. I think that's just the first born in me, but it just helps. So like if there's a weekend here or there and Garrett and I, we don't really know exactly what we want to do. I can just go back to the list and try to figure it out. <laughs> He wants attention so badly. Hey! All right, so I just got food ordered and I'm about to sit down and write the bucket list. All right, so I just finished making my summer bucket list and I kind of wanted to go over it with you guys, but I have a bunch of things on here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 things to do this summer. And the first one is berry picking, which we obviously went to today. In late June here in Mass, we can actually go cherry picking, which I want to do that. And then obviously have like a full beach day or lake day or even pool day. And then I really want to go to a farmer's market. I haven't been to one in this area since we moved out here, um, but I really want to find a nice place to go and then go to the zoo. I don't know why, but this just like reminds me so much of summer. I love going to the zoo, especially like in new states because they always have like different animals and everything. I think it's really fun. And then I really want to go on a picnic because there's actually like this park and like pond that I think is really beautiful. Since it's summertime, get go treat yourself to like a nice pedicure or even get summer nails. I have like these nails currently right now. I just got them done on Friday. Going like mini golfing or to the driving range would be a lot of fun. And then the sunrise, which I think is just like beautiful in the summertime because it's still like a little warm outside. And I just picture like going out like on my balcony and having like a cup of coffee and watching the sunrise and reading my Devo or a book of some sort. The next thing on my list is going kayaking or paddle boarding which I've never been paddle boarding before, but I've always really wanted to go, but I love kayaking or canoeing. And then another outdoor thing you can do is actually go on a hike. There's tons of hikes in this area, so we're gonna try to explore a little bit more this summer. And making homemade popsicles would be really fun. It's a really healthy way to just like, you can just blend up any berries that you want. You could throw in like a little bit of lemonade or even just some water and boom, you got some popsicles. And this next thing I'm actually really bad at doing. I never make playlists for like the seasons or for even the year or something, but I wanna make a summer playlist this year. That way you just like throw it on, whether it's like, it's like probably a mix of country and some pop music. And I also wanna explore like a new coffee shop. I just. I love coffee shops in general and this could be like all year round thing but I really want to do that this summer and then the last thing is to go on an ice cream date which we obviously went on today but to go on to more because there's actually tons of cute little ice cream shops around. That is my summer bucket list. I'm going to make a little template and check off list for you guys and I'm going to post it on my Instagram and I actually wanted to share with you guys something really awesome that I was working on yesterday. But guys, take a look. I created my first website and it basically has everything from spring, summer, um, autumn, and winter things. And I'm probably gonna write some blog posts. And here's also where I'm gonna have all my updated and most recent bucket lists. So you can always go to the website. In the website URL is alishaslife.com. But I'm just super excited. I spent like all day working on this. I have like an about me page, um, places where you can message me and all of that jazz, but I'm really excited. Like I have a travel, a food section, a drink section for like coffee and cocktails and all of the things honestly <laughs> um but you guys should definitely go check that out um and i'm really just 
really excited about that. And it was actually really easy to make. I went through like Squarespace and it was just fun, like customizing the whole thing. I've been wanting to make a website for a while and yesterday I was just in the mood to get it done and work on it and it was just so much fun, honestly. So you guys should definitely go check that out. But for now, I actually got to do some computer work and apply to some jobs and then I'm gonna get to gardening. All right, so I just got a lot of computer work done and kind of updating my website as well and Instacart just arrived. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got and I still need to get outside and garden because <laughs> I was like cranking away like with my computer work. So that was like always good, but I really do need to work on the garden as well. All right, here is a quick overview of what we got from Aldi's for groceries for the week. These are some bagel thins or bagel skinnies. And we got some corn for tonight. We always have tacos every Tuesday, so we always pick up a lot of seasoning when we need it. Sour cream as well, some bread. I haven't tried this kind before, but it looked pretty good. We needed some ketchup. Honestly, I was craving these, and we might throw these in the oven right now because they just sound absolutely delicious. And just listen to your cravings sometimes. You just need that. And then, we're actually going to make some steak tonight, and so we needed some A1 sauce. Then also we picked up some salsa and lettuce because we're going to be making BLTs, some onions, cheese, and I'm a sucker for some garlic knots, so we might even have those tonight. It's going to be a big meal tonight. And then this was actually only $3 from Aldi's, so we picked that up, and our steak and our meat pretty much like for the week. I'm going to be making meatballs for lunches and then for tacos and burgers all right now it's time to do the garden which i actually have some pretty good updates for you guys and i obviously changed into like a comfy set that i got off of old navy and i'm like obsessed with it i wear it all the time but right now i'm going to show you what the balcony looks like so right now our hydrangeas are doing really well there's a sneak peek of the rug out here and then what I have to do today is actually transport the peppers into one of these bins. We have sweet and hot peppers here. These are the peas and they need to, we need to add like sticks to them because they're gonna like hold on to that. And then green beans are obviously doing really well. We had like a little strawberry sprout, but it died. <laughs> I think it got like almost too much sun. And I planted zinnias and lupin, so the zinnias are doing really well, and same with the lupin. It's super, super dry because it's been like 90 degrees the past couple days, and today's like 93, so we've almost watered them like twice a day, and I haven't watered them yet, so that's what I have to do right now because they are looking a little dry. And then the last thing that we have is actually our cucumbers over here. They're doing really well. They actually like more of a shaded area because they have started to get, you can kind of see them here. Like that's like sunburn basically. So we took them out of the sun and just like up against the wall here because that is helping them and they're growing a lot better now. But for now, cue a little time lapse. <laughs> Archie wanted to join me for this little talk, but I just finished up the garden and I actually wanted to show you guys my quick little swimsuit order from Aerie. I have been really wanting to make an order with them and over Memorial Day weekend, they had some good sales. So I'm about to try that on for you. He's like, what's all up here? You wanna say hi? No, no, we don't go up there. Nice try. He's in very much play mode right now, so after I try on the swimsuits, it's definitely playtime for him. All right, so here is the first swimsuit from Aerie. It's, they're like high-waisted, and it has like kind of like a V here, and it's really, really flattering. 
on as well. It's a little cheeky, not gonna lie, but I also really like these tops because there's no like tie, like you don't have to worry about them like coming off or getting untied. So it's like perfect if you're gonna go to like a lake or on a boat or something like that. And I'm gonna try the other one on for you guys. And real quick, this is the next swimsuit. It has like a little polka dot detailing on it and it has like a longer top to it as well and little ruffle details everywhere and I just think it's really, really cute and I'll link everything down below for you guys. And I just changed back into my little Old Navy set and this would actually be a really cute swimsuit cover up. I was thinking about that, like it's a very light, it's almost like a linen material. Be perfect. <laughs> All right, we just ate a little bit of lunch, kind of like a snacky lunch. We actually ended up making those croissants. We snacked on some strawberries and even some Flaming Hot Lime Cheetos. It's like the most random combo of food, but that's what we had. And I've been drinking a Celsius. And then I also got some more computer work done and threw in some laundry and working through a bunch of that. But now it's time to start prepping and getting ready to make dinner. And this little guy just woke up from a really long nap next to me. Yeah? You awake now? Yeah. Oh, he goes, it's time to go back to bed. So, like I said earlier, we're going to be making like a steak dinner tonight. And I'm in charge of the mashed potatoes right now. And Garrett's going to do the steak, my fiance. And then we're going to have garlic knots and corn. And then after, we're going to have a really fun dessert. So you guys should definitely stay tuned for that. All right, I got the potatoes starting to boil a little bit here and the corn is shucked and ready to go. The potatoes obviously take a really long time and oh, I made well, extras. That's not count, <laughs> so we're watching like the Clippers Mavs game right now. It's like playoff season, like game seven, so a big game. But the potatoes take a really time and I'm making extra to like meal prep throughout the week. So I'm gonna have like mashed potatoes and we're gonna make the meatballs right now for lunches this week. So we're actually gonna make these firecracker meatballs. We often get HelloFresh, but we don't have it today. But I like how they have the recipes here for you. So we can like go back and make them, but we're pretty much going to make these meatballs and that's the recipe there. I actually recruited Garrett to make the meatballs. I helped him with it, but I'm just not a huge fan of touching like the raw meat whatsoever, but. Also a little update on the strawberries. I'm not entirely sure still what I want to do with them, but when we went to Target, we were looking for like chocolate dips. So we can make chocolate covered strawberries, but we didn't see anything, but they did have this brownie batter dessert hummus and Trader Joe's has something really similar. It's like their chocolate hummus, but we're gonna try this out and I think it would be really good with the strawberries in my head. I think that's gonna work, but I think maybe tomorrow I might actually make like a strawberry shortcake or something like that, but I'm also just gonna cut up probably one of the bins of strawberries to just have strawberries to eat because Garrett really doesn't like like the strawberries cooked. He'd rather just have plain regular strawberries, which is totally fine. They're actually really good. But another thing I wanted to show you guys that I got from Target is this really cute mug. It says, go get them. And I've been trying to find like cuter little mugs like this, but I'm really excited to have this for my morning coffee tomorrow. Also, I wanted to show you something that I got for Garrett for like a three year anniversary. I got him this mug. It says Cat Dad. <laughs> it was like a little like additional thing. I think it was like $5 at Target, but I thought it was really cute today. We went and tried to find like the Cat Mom mug, but they didn't have any in store and I was a little sad, but hopefully I can find one soon. But I think it just looks really cute as well. And I don't know. <laughs> it's really cheesy, but it's fun. And time to get back to cooking because the potatoes are almost done boiling and it's time to put the meatballs in the oven. All right, Garrett has a steak going and then we just drained the potatoes. So I'm about to finish those up and the corn is boiling. We got some gravy and we also have meatballs and garlic knots in there. All right, dinner is served. We got some steak, mashed potatoes, corn over here, lots of garlic knots. We'll probably save some for tomorrow. But for now, we're just going to eat dinner and watch The Modern Family.
All right, we just finished up dinner and we were just kind of hanging out watching Modern Family and now it's time to make dessert. And I'm so excited to show you guys this. This is something that I like bought Garrett for our anniversary. I bought him this and like a TV sound bar and this was like the fun gift and of course the cat dad mug. But here it is. <laughs> I bought Garrett a snow cone maker, so we're about to make some snow cones. We'll see how this works. All right, and our snow cones are made. I ended up going with the cherry flavor. It's good. It's like the perfect hot day dessert. I'm actually pretty proud of this purchase. I got it from Target for like 20 bucks and it's so worth it. But I think I'm actually going to end the vlog here for tonight. But if you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new here because I would love to spend more days with you guys. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!